he's rolling coal. Holy crap. What's up guys, today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. If you don't know what Raid is, check this out. And did you guys know that it is Raid Shadow Legends second year anniversary? That's right, it's been two years since Raid burst into the scene and basically took over mobile gaming. Happy birthday, Raid. Since then, Raid has gotten way bigger and way better. With it being Raid's two year anniversary, their schedule is absolutely packed with amazing events. They've got six straight weeks of anniversary events and tournaments running from March 1st all the way to the middle of April. They're even launching clan vs clan tournaments to give players a chance to compete directly against another clan. There's no other games that I know of that are as easy as Raid to hop on your phone anywhere you may be and with just a few simple clicks, you can join battle, with players around the world, or even play against their campaigns. It's so simple to take a break from what you're doing, hop on Raid Shadow Legends and blow off some steam. And if you haven't downloaded and played Raid Shadow Legends before, today you can get a huge head start. If you guys use my links in the description below, you'll get a free epic champion, Jotan. 100k silver, 50 germs, and three ancient shards. These rewards are only available for the next 30 days, and they're only available for new players. So go check out the links in my description below. But for now, let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. How much do you want to bet he's going to heat brake? Handbrake slide around a little bit. Guaranteed. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Warbird. Guys, if you didn't know, we have freaking Cletus and Cars this weekend in Houston, Texas. So we got to get our boy Warbird out, the Castlemaine Rod Shop burnout car, and send this thing on the transporter over to Houston. So the plan all along was to take Warbird in the stacker with us out to Houston. But as it turned out, Doug wanted to go with us and race. So Warbird, unfortunately, has to go on the open car transport to Houston. But it's not just any open car transport. My buddy has probably one of the most freaking gnarly Peterbilts in the country. This thing is brand new, top of the line car transporter. And you guys will see it today. It is an incredible truck. So I talked to the owner of Warbird and he said, it's all right. Just make sure you wrap up the engine good. Make sure it's all sealed up. And unfortunately, Warbird is clean right now, sitting in my garage, but he's going to get a little dirty on this ride, but we'll clean him up when we get to Texas. But he's been sitting here ready to go since, as you guys know, we had Cleese and Cars planned for earlier this month, but it freaking snowed in Texas. So we had to push the event back to this weekend. So this Saturday, Warbird, neighbor, JH's truck, uh, James truck, a bunch of other cars are gonna be going to Houston and doing an epic burnout contest at Houston Raceway Park. So if you guys wanna come out on Saturday, March 27th, it's gonna be a blast. But Warbird is sitting here ready to go. Since the last burnout contest, we did an oil change, oil filter, checked the valve lash, things like that, checked over the whole car. Warbird is good to go. So I'm about to fire him up, throw him in the trailer, take him over to the Freedom Factory, and we will slap him on the transport, send him out there. Transporter is well insured, just so everyone knows. So if something does happen to this car, God forbid, I did talk to Mark and we have like a price and everything so that if this car becomes to a point where it is, you know, a total loss, there is a number out there that I will be handing Mark in cash. God forbid something happened. I just wanted to, you know, know what that number is so that I could at least help them replace the Warbird, even though this thing is irreplaceable. This is such an amazing car. So we're going to fire him up right now. Throw them in the trailer and head to FF. All right, we're gonna turn this thing over, make sure it sounds good, then I'm gonna throw some fuel in it. Fire it up. Sounds good to me. It'll take a second. That might do it. That might do it.
So just when you guys thought the toter home was cool, this thing pulls up. God dang. That's a spicy unit. Hell yeah, dude. This thing is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Hell yeah. So this is what's hauling everything to Houston for us. And uh, this is next level, dude. This is the next level unit. I've never seen this thing in person, so I've uh, only seen pictures of it. What's up, Ralphie? What's going on, dude? Bro, this thing's sick. <laughs> Holy crap. Damn, man. This is ridiculous. Hell yeah. Stick shift, too, huh? Doing it right. Oh, 18 speed, man. 18 speed? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, what a truck, man. <laughs> the truck's nicer than the cars it's hauling. <laughs> All right, cool. Damn, bro. This is the real deal. 700, 700 horsepower. 700 horsepower? Yeah, about 3,000 torque. What year is this truck? 2021. Damn, this thing's brand new. Yeah. So what, they just custom built it from the ground up for you guys? Yeah. Holy crap. Oh, it, Look at the term sheet. Oh, okay. So yeah. this guy, yeah, Ralphie's out of Fort Myers, so he's right up the road. So, uh, you know, just with the events evolving and everything, we had to find someone who has a truck that can haul how many cars? Nine. I can get nine on here. You can get nine cars on this puppy, so... Yeah. Uh, not only are we sending cars to Houston, we're actually taking some different ones back. So we'll be leaving like my fun haver Vic and stuff there and bringing back some other cars. But, uh, I'm just fired up, man. I've always wanted to, uh, load one of these and just freaking pack it full of our cars. And we finally have enough cars to do it. You know, this window's getting smaller. I'm getting bigger, dude. <laughs> The fun harbor right behind the twisted tea river. Dead nuts reliable crown mix, dude. They're going up top. The rear is 39, we're at 40. Oh, half NG side. Probably be smart to just put the other wheels on so that we don't end up in a, in a pit hole. Boys, we're putting your Warbird up on the lift because we gotta put the show wheels and tires back on. We had the burnout wheels and tires on it ready to go, but it doesn't leave us much room for error with how narrow the tracks are for the truck. So we're gonna go ahead and just put the uh, nice wheels on it. Gives it a lot more width, go on the trailer get to Houston, swap them out.
the mystery machine in between these? How big is it? Not that big, bro. It's a little peanut. Look at all that clearance for days. JH Doodle Skis. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh I love it. Nothing better than messing with Jay's. Oh yeah, we're good. We make it, Ralphie? Like a glove, man. Like a glove, dude. Came up with a back in his <laughs> J2. Alright, so the top layer is loaded. And then Warbird, Neighbor, and uh, Rodney, George's truck, will be on the bottom. Damn. It ain't even trying. That is crazy. Holy crap. So is this next on the list? <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty easy to have this thing just show up and look all beautiful. Bro, I've never smelled it. I, dude, I don't even want to know what's Come in on, there. Give it a sniff. I gave her a whip. Give I smelled it over there. <laughs> give her a whip. <laughs> Bro, like a what snake. in the world was in your truck, George? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a dead snake or a dead fish or something. You want to bet he's gonna heat brake. Handbrake slide around a little bit. Guaranteed.
That was quick. That was pretty cool. A lot of science going on here, dude. Mm -hmm. A lot of high tech, high technology stuff. Get one of these to go out of the toter. Tell you what. All right, boys. She is loaded up. A little scary loading it backwards, but uh, figured that we might help with getting water in the intake. But we're gonna totally seal that sucker off with uh, the cellophane that we have and make sure that she is as airtight as can be before this thing goes off to Houston. So no damage, she went on perfectly. Plenty of room, plenty of clearance. The nice thing about this car is it has a little bit of ride height, so it's not too bad to load it in and out of trailers. But to uh, the boys at Castaway Rod Shop, Warbird's going to Texas. Thank you guys. We were just looking. The trailer's on air ride too. Oh dang. It's for real. Sick, dude. It's Optimus Prime. Dude, James Bedtopper is hilarious. Come down a lot in the back, back. You can come down a bunch back here. Man, dude, it's a nice setup. All right, so the only man for this job was Ryan. Perfectionist. He made sure she's totally sealed up. The uh, the hat. There's no possible chance anything's getting in that hat. So. She got multiple layers all the way around. And uh, and then I asked him about putting a cover on the car, but we were worried it might rub on the wrap. So we're just leaving her bare bones and we'll wash her up when she gets there. Oh, look at that, dude. That's pretty tricky. All right, guys, so we're back to look at the uh, truck. It's a little bit darker now. We wanted to see with the lights, you know, truly glistening at night. My brother Parker with me. So this is it, dude, load it up. Isn't that crazy how many it can hold? It's crazy. I, the, the pictures don't do it justice. <clears throat> I know. Bunch of units. We got a uh, neighbor, Warbird, uh, George's truck, Parker's Mustang. What? Yeah. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you got I a burnout Fox ripper. Body. I know. Holy shit. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that's, your, that's your steed, dude. Of course. <laughs> Oh man. So this is a gift from Sean Steimer, Spicy Spence and I. Really? It was actually for your birthday, but since the event got oh. pushed back, it was in Houston waiting Everyone for you. Was flying in. Oh he might have locked it. Wow. <clears throat> it was in Houston waiting for you and uh we had it shipped here and now it's going back. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah. Dang. Spicy, yeah. so fun. Yeah, it's got nitrous and everything. Really? Yeah. You guys put nitrous in it? Sean had nitrous put on it. What? Sean, Sean arranged the whole deal. He picked it up. He did a burnout in it. Got nitrous put on it. Sean tuned did? up. Yes. Oh, yeah. This sounds like it can get burnout. Oh, dude, it rips them. This is low coolant, but we don't need that where we're going. Nah, you don't need that where we're going. <laughs> what do you think dude she's a ripper yeah, yeah it kind of sucks you can't rip it right now but it's all right it's good all weekend it's loaded up so that you, you have got, to wait to houston I mean, we can get <laughs> extra tires and we're there i already got some you got two sets there's the fresh meats that are yeah on i got there. a bunch you got the meats that are on there we got more tires and wheels oh. crown vic wheels fit right on the sucker so we're good <laughs> so she's so dialed no way, so you got the high clearance. Yeah. I was kind of wondering. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, with the lights on? Yeah. Dude, that's so rad. Holy crap, man. This thing is insane. All right, folks, we are off to Houston. And by me, I mean the burnout cars. We got the T unit, fun haver. My brother's new burnout car, Rodney, white trash. Down here, we got Warbird, which he's all sealed up. You got the big blower on there. Mystery Machine, JH Diesel Burnout Car, Burnout Truck, an old neighbor, dude. Off to Houston they go on probably the coolest car transporter in the U.S. 
See you later, everyone. So sick. See you later, guys. Have fun in Houston. Oh, he's rolling coal. Holy crap.